What is up everyone? Welcome back to Base Damage. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're going to be taking a look at the Spy X Family uh, booster set that is coming out at the beginning, of, closer to the beginning of next year. Uh, we It is still quite a few months away. I'm recording this before Thanksgiving, so uh, hopefully I retain all the information by then. Uh, for anyone who's never come to one of my set reviews, I mainly try to highlight the, tr the double rares in each of the colors. And then I'll go through all of the cards anyway and try to like showcase and highlight the ones that I think have more interesting effects personally. Uh, but we are go uh, we are going to be trying to go through and show off every single one of them in terms of like what they look like and all that jazz. Uh, it looks like a full 100 card set. So without further ado, we got quite a few to go through and I have to do a lot of talking today because <laughs> I'm recording multiple videos. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into it. First off, let's get it off with Anya. We have a 0015, the first double rare. Uh, this Anya, when your other character is placed on stage by a change effect until the end of the next turn, it gets 1000 power. So that already right then and there tells me this set's going to have some change prevalent stuff. Uh, it is also a brainstormer of pay one rest this mill for. Uh, for each climax, choose up to one Berlint City character from your waiting room and add it to your hand. I wonder if Berlint City is going to be the, uh, which this also has like supernatural power and Eden Academy. But I think Berlint City is going to be the quote unquote music trait of this set in terms of just that's going to be like the main trait. Then we have a 215K Becky. Uh, if this is in your back row, all of your other interest, okay. All of your other Anya right here get the following ability that all of your other Berlin City characters get 1500 power. Why doesn't, okay, it's whatever. It's just kind of interesting. Um, at the start of your, okay, so basically this states as long as they're both on the field this level two gives the level zero an effect to give a global 1500 buff why not just say as long as you have the anya this all of your Berlin city characters gain 1500 power why does it have to give the effect that's the weird thing to me it just it feels like a very awkward wording I don't know if like anybody else has looked through this stuff. You, once, we are also looking through on the uh, the archive on Weiss Tea Time. Go check them out. I, if anyone else has looked at this, uh, there there may be some other cards that makes that this makes sense. I don't know, but it, this does have to stay. It, this has to stay in your back row, but then the Anya could like move up and not worry about giving the buff. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay, so it has an auto as well. At the start of your climax phase, you can discard two cards to burn for one. Okay. And it has an act of, you can discard one copy of this specific Becky and rest this card. Search your deck for up to one Berlin City character. Show it to your opponent. Add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This does like everything. It, it gives buffs, it searches, and it does damage. Okay. Just very interesting. Um... Then we have a uh, the other, let's see if there's another. Okay, so this is the last double rare in yellow. It is a 3-2 Anya with a climax combo. Awesome, so 3-2-9-5. When this attacks, if you have the choice trigger in your climax area, you can pay one and discard one card. If you do look it up to three cards from the top of your opponent's deck, choose up to three cards from amongst them, put them on top of the opponent's deck in any order and send the rest to the waiting room and heal one. So this lets you dig through up to three cards on the top of your opponent's deck. And if you see any climaxes, you just say, get them out of here. Uh, oh, no, 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 it doesn't mill. I'm no, yeah, it does. I was gonna say, wait, did I just read this wrong? And send the rest to waiting room. So I, I was correct. So you get of the three, you get to pick which ones go back on top of the deck and you mill and you send the rest to the waiting room. So I was initially thinking, I was like, wait, did I read that wrong? <laughs> so, okay. So that is correct. You basically get to dig for climaxes, get them out of the top three cards and put everything else back up there and then heal one for just a pay one pitch one. Honestly, that's not that bad. Okay. Uh, it also has a change effect. So this is very interesting. I haven't seen level threes that do the changing effects for a hot minute. At the start of your encore step, if this is rested, choose one of a, uh, a three, two Anya, which is uh, number 35 on the list. Underneath this card is a marker or in your waiting room. You may place it on stage in this card's former slot rested. If you do place this card underneath that character face up as a marker. 
Uh, also, the I, I realize my head is kind of covering this. The secret rare art for this is really cute. Uh, just like it, it's zoomed in a little bit, but the 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 name is like rainbow. It's kind of cute. Okay. Um. Okay. So, a couple things to dissect here. We already have cards that are stating changing effects that happen. But okay. So my initial thought there probably still is cards that do this. But I was thinking like. Uh, a, a one that changes into a two or a two that changes into a three this is swapping with another level three so we're immediately going to go to this uh number 35 anya and see what that is that's probably going to be in a different color but fuck it who cares it's my show okay so this is the anya uh, also cute overframe rare. okay so this is actually alternate arts for the overframe rare that is actually really adorable so it's a 3-2 10k Anya. When this is placed on the stage from your hand or by a change effect, look up to X cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card amongst them, add it to your hand, and send the rest to your waiting room. X is equal to the number of your Berlin City characters. So you get to dig up to five with a full field. That's kind of nice. Now, if this happens during at the end of your turn, uh, I, I guess, the, the okay, so this could be used, as, like I said, if this gets changed into by the other level three Anya, uh, it, it's during your encore step. So your turn's about to end. So if you know that you have like no climaxes left in deck, you can be like, okay, cool. I'm just going to dig through five cards out of my deck. Okay, that's, that's fair. At the start of your opponent's encore step, if this is rested, choose the, the, the level three Anya we were talking about before. Underneath this card is a marker or in your waiting room, and you may place it on stage in this card's former slot rested. And if you do place this card this card underneath that character face up as a marker. So why would you It's at the at the start of your opponent's on Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm see I'm seeing <laughs> I'm seeing the lines. No, no, no. Okay, it specifically says if this is rested. So if they somehow didn't kill it, you get to swap. Okay, I was like, oh wait, does it get to save itself by the change? But then I, I remembered, wait, it, it does specifically say if this is rested. So it can't be reversed. Okay, okay, I, I was I was getting hopeful for a second there. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I see the lines. <laughs> I was going like the, if you've ever seen the meme of the, the beautiful mind uh, meme. So, <laughs> okay, so. That's what that was. Let's go through. Oh God, this art is so pretty. Oh my, like e even if it is just like a, like a zoomed out or zoomed in thing, even just the regular art looks so cute. I, this is such a good show, man. I love this show. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back up to the, uh, the other cards. So that was it for the double rares. I'm gonna be just kind of skimming through these really quick to see if there's anything. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. It gives a thousand buff during your opponent's turn to all of your Berlin City characters. Uh, it gets to run to the back row. We have a Climax Swapper Anya, very cool. Also on play, you can, you can discard a card to grab back a specific 2-1 event. Let me see what that is real quick. Uh, so the event is this one. Oh, so cute. The two one, okay, it's not a counter event. It goes to memory. You get to choose up to two characters. They gain the, you don't get soul penalty. Oh God, look at this. This is the spy family rare for this. She's just, like she's teaching her like how to, how to fight and just punch. God, I love that. Uh, while this is in your memory, all of your characters with change, as long as they have change in the effect, they don't have to be changed. They just have to have this particular effect in their text, basically. It gets a thousand power and hexproof. Oh, fuck. Okay. So the event's just constantly giving hexproof. While this is in your memory at the start of your opponent's encore step, send this to it. Okay. So it doesn't last forever. I was about to say, wow, that's actually kind of broke sauce. Okay. It, it, it lasts for a turn, but it doesn't last forever. So it eventually does leave. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was, I was like, oh, wow, okay, just, just, <laughs> the shit just strong for no reason. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so we do have another climax combo with a choice trigger. I actually should look at all the climaxes as well in a second here. 
At the start of your encore step, if you have the choice, choose a character in your waiting room, add it to hand, and if you do, discard a card. And it can sack itself to save a character that uh, gets sent from stage to waiting room. Very nice. When a climax gets played, okay. And it's a mill runner. Oh no, watch out. This is a one zero. I just I just saw the note it says it has a soul trigger. So we have a we have a Anya Kali, <laughs> Calliope Anya. I don't know, <laughs> but it's a one zero thirty five, um, which is still the same starting stats as Kali. I think uh, I, she might have been twenty five. I don't remember, but she has a soul trigger icon being a costless level zero or level one, a costless level one. Can't side. So it gets big and it's a level one clean cut. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, just just thought that was kind of cool. Uh, okay, I was like, oh, did I jump ahead now? Uh, early play Anya and Damien. Uh, gets to early play heal one. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I felt good. Uh, this grabs a different event because the other event we saw was number twenty two. This grabs twenty three. But this whole the whole thing for this is just trying to dig for events in general. Okay, okay. Set from stage to waiting room. Four cards on top of your deck. Choose a level one higher. Okay, cool. All right. We have a Damien climax combo. Uh, when the choice is placed in your climax area, if this is in your front row, and you have a the another zero zero Anya from earlier reveal the top card of your or the top two cards of your deck your opponent chooses one character or event from amongst them uh, you add it to hand and send the rest to waiting room I, I I hate the opponent chooses one character or event effects I think that's kind of dumb I, I don't think you should give that to your opponent okay well, we are also going to note this also has a soul trigger it is a costless level one with another soul trigger very interesting so i almost wonder if we're going to have a gura situation where there's going to be like a really strong finisher or maybe in this color or another that focuses on the number of crit triggers revealed for effects so so i do need to pay attention for that if i see another card that has that we do have an anti-change on you uh the becky when this attacks, if you have a choice trigger in your climax area, a particular one, uh, number 27, look it up to four cards, add a yellow character or event. Okay, so this is more color locked, but I mean, still not bad. If this is an uncommon. I feel this is still not a bad climax combo effect. Uh, better than this one. I'm sorry. I don't like the Damien one. Uh, Henry Henderson. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. When your character's trigger check reveals a climax with a choice trigger, pay one, draw a card. I, lo I love these effects uh like effects that give traits that mean nothing <laughs> it's like the meat effects and bread effects or whatever or potato i'm sorry from like uh from aot with sasha it's just really funny to see uh act rest this choose one of your berlin city characters it gets 1500 power and elegant <laughs> i if that does something in this that'd be hilarious but i, I just i'm gonna assume that it doesn't do a damn thing so it's just funny um uh, draw back damien do, do, do. okay here's another one zero cost uh, so a costless level one with a soul trigger so we've seen four cost sorry i was about to say three and then i looked down and saw the anya we've seen four level one costless characters that have soul triggers is this just going to become the norm i don't know so one zero do, do, do. And these are like generic effects. It's not like, like I can understand a bit with the, the climax combo ones. Like maybe it's a special thing for them to have a, a, a soul trigger for something. Kind of like how the Kali does. Uh, like for key cards. But a lot of these are just, okay, it, it has like a generic ass effect. And then, oh, it also has a soul trigger. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to assume maybe level two three is going to have some stuff uh but, uh, uh level three killer okay interesting uh if it attacks a uh, level three or higher character it gets 6k power and plus two soul typically it's like just power or maybe plus one soul but plus two souls interesting okay so become a 13 with three soul jesus um here's the other event it literally legitimately is just meant to summon anya's you sack a specific zero zero on you, probably the one that's like, oh, trying to grab this event. 
and then you summon any character with Anya in its name. Interesting. Okay, this is just the like feels good, like the <laughs> we're just gonna summon the kids out to attack. Yellow is just we're summoning the children. That's all. <laughs> that's all this is. Okay, cool. We have a counter event. Oh, it's a money counter. Uh, makes it it gives fifteen hundred power. You have to have a full field of Berwent City characters. Choose one battling character. It gains the ability. This cannot deal damage to players, and then choose one of your characters. It gets fifteen hundred power. It's literally darkness plan, but with the added restriction it has the same stats as darkness plan but it's the same it's a added restriction of you had to have a full field so if they somehow get rid of one character before you get a chance to play this that's it you're done <laughs> well i guess you could still give it the buff even if you don't have the five but you don't get the uh the the no damage so it's kind of funny oh look at this another like spy family rare this is so fucking cute Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna get to the uh, green double rares. We got a zero zero Lloyd. It's a fifteen. During your during your turn, if you have another Berlin City character, uh, it gains a fifteen hundred power. This card gains fifteen hundred power. When you play this on stage from hand, you can uh, mill one twice. When your other Berlin City character is frontal attacked, you can pay one sack this to return that character to your hand. Okay. We have Best Girl Yor is a 1035. When a climax is placed in your climax area this turn, this gets 2500 power and the following ability. When this card attacks, you can discard one card. If you do, during the trigger step, uh, trigger check twice. So uh, that's just in general. When a climax is placed, it's not just off of its own climax combo. It's for any of them, which can be a, a very interesting, eth interesting effect later on. But it also does have a climax combo on attack if you have the bar just in general you get to salvage back a character just on attack salvage interesting i actually kind of like that granted so it's gonna get the 2500 so so let's do the math here you're playing a bar climax which is a 1k1 so she'll gain 25 from her own ability which makes her a 106k a 107k that does not have to reverse and you have the option of being able to trigger check twice in a deck with gold bar that is you know very useful to just be like oh let's just pitch the extra gold bars from hand so that's very fair uh lastly the last double rare we have is a lloyd anya and yor it's a early play of two or less climaxes in your waiting room it gets minus a level in hand it's a three two eight k when this is placed on stage you can heal one then choose one of the following three effects and resolve it if you have four or more other Berlin City characters, you may put the top card of your deck into your stock. Uh, so it would pay for half of its own cost. Um, you can pay one, pitch one to heal one. You're already healing one, you can potentially heal twice if you pay the extra cost. Or this turn, this gains 3k power, making it an 11k. So it really just depends. Oh my god, this is so fucking cute. Like, like, look at this, look at this art. This is just so wholesome. Love it. Okay, so that's it for the double rares. Um let's just go through so at the end of the yellow we didn't see anything that worked off of soul triggers maybe there's another color that does work with it i mean i guess especially now since you're bringing in like lloyd and uh yor into this maybe they're maybe some of their level threes might do that i don't know uh let's see if this is in your back row all of your other Oh, so this gives the this also gives the very first brainstormer Anya we talked about the the same like global fifteen hundred power. So this or the Becky can both do the same effect. <laughs> An act of rest this if you control that Anya brainstormer. Look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put it on top of their deck or into their waiting room. It's just like oh, I see a climax. Get it out of here just for free. I, I say for free, but it, you just rest this. Kind of funky. Uh, two one Anya with a climax combo on attack. If you have a gold bar, look up to four from the top, add two Berlin from amongst them. Uh, choose one and add it to hand, and choose the other and send it to stock and send the rest to waiting room. Okay, so fairly decent little bit of stock production. It doesn't have to reverse, even though it does get pretty big. It's a two one six K. Uh, if all of your characters are Berlin City, this gets four K power, so it's just it's a ten K. With a gold bar makes it 11 minimum. So not counting if you have any of these other like, oh, give all of your Berlin characters like 1500 power global. So holy shit. Okay. 
we have a 3-2 Lloyd. I guess the change effect is actually very appropriate because they're constantly having to change their, like, what they're having to present themselves as if Lloyd's having to be a dad, you know, or he has to change back to his spy persona, you know, type thing. So it's kind of cool. Uh, when it's placed on stage from hand or by chain shield one, uh, the start of your opponent's encore step, if this is rested, okay, does the same, like, rested encore thing, and it changes out to Twilight uh, number 80, which I'll scroll down to in a second, but swaps with that one. This was the Anya we talked about before. Uh, this swaps out with a Yor as well. Once again, all the swapping also does, like, healing or digging effects, which is really nice. Oh, look, God, she's so adorable. Look at that. That's also just so precious. Okay, sorry. I'm just as distracted by the art as I am anything else. Okay, so, oh, fuck, what did I say? Um, the Twilight is 80. This Yor swaps out with a 59. Okay, let's see. Prefer if it swapped it out with a 69. Anyway. So 59 is this. Oh, it swaps out to a red. Interesting. Okay. Which it is a double rare, so we'll get back to this, but just mental note, the other level three green Yor swaps out to this one. The 80, I wonder if that's a blue. Oh, so even their change effects are for like the adults are different colors? Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe. Let's see if 80, 80 is a different, is a different color Lloyd. Okay, that's kind of interesting how that plays out where it's like, okay, you know, when we're a family, we're all green together. Everything's lively. Your swaps to red. I'm going to kill you, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> God. Oh, uh, where did we stop at? Oh man, I've already lost my place. I'm so sorry. I'm so horrible. Oh, that is so cute. Let's see. I had, I had gone down way farther than I thought. Okay, okay, so that was that one. Um, Placed on stage of hand. Look at sub three. When this direct attacks, it gets an additional soul. You're direct attacking anyway for extra soul. So if it direct attacks, this is swinging with three soul before trigger. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. Um, the turn it's placed on stage from hand. Choose one of your characters. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, it can't be reversed by your opponent's auto effects. Interesting. And brainstorm of pay one, rest, mill four. For each climax, search your deck for a burlent. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it gives power and you generate more stock. So this also lets you also i love his name is bond like james bond and this whole spy family I, I love that um it's so cute so this also gives the anya like an effect uh for like a global 500 in general but it can sack itself to dig cards on the top of the deck okay on the following effect x times mill one this is apparently added to hand Okay, cool. Oh, well, actually, this is not a bad uncommon. It's just kind of wonky for like the low stats, but well, it is a cost zero or lower uh, reverser, uh, a clock bomb actually. So, okay, cool. Do do do. Like I said, just kind of skimming over since we're past the double rares at this point. This gets fairly big. Oh, this decompresses. Okay, so it's a two one. On play, you can pay one pitch one uh, to choose one of your... Your opponent chooses a climax in their waiting room and shuffles all other cards from their waiting room into their deck. So you, you decompress them like a motherfucker. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Like, oh, look, you're missing half your deck and I know you still have, like, seven climaxes in there. No. no. <laughs> Let's see. Also, this is, this is really cute art. Okay. Uh, we get buffs. Uh, okay. Uh, they're good effects for like digging and, and really like a lot of the effects in here, are, like, you know, adding resources, giving buffs, like is, is very good overall. I'm not like trying to skip over stuff per se, but it's also a lot of cards to have to read through. It's probably already going to be like an hour long video by the time I finish rendering it anyway. So this has a climax combo, 0015. 
Uh, when this when the bar is placed in your climax area, if you have two or more other Berlint characters, mill three, choose up to one level X or lower Berlint character, add it to hand from your waiting room, add it to hand. X is equal to the number of Berlint uh, characters sent to the waiting room by this effect. So there's just in general, which is nice. Oh, also it's a on play you can pitch a climax uh, to salvage back a Berlint City character, and then when the uh, when the gold bar gets played, you can do some you can do some more milling and salvaging stuff. So it's actually kind of nice just to have like a back row climax combo for most of your shenanigans. Pretty cool. Let's see. Let you add an event uh, coming up in a minute here. The vanilla yore, just so cute. Okay, cool. Uh, like I said, just nothing like really standing i love this art the spy family rares are the spy rares are so cool in terms of like the little chibi art and stuff it's just so cute god this also does some marker shenanigans if you have a specific uh this specific one one lloyd right here when a climax gets placed in your comic series choose up to two characters against a thousand power okay cool Okay, so we, whoa, whoa, we have a level three, five cost green event. Choose up to one of the, like the first level three Anya we saw from your hand up to one of the red you're coming up and up to one of the, that was weird that the little bar showed up and up to one of the blue Lloyd named Twilight we saw from earlier in your hand, place them on stage in separate slots, send this to memory. So let's break that down. First off, this is a green event that you're playing to summon a yellow level three, a red level three and a blue level three. That that's already interesting, but wait, same climax as the trial deck level three combo. Okay. Sorry. So just very good to say there while this is in your memory during the turn, this was sent to memory your oh okay okay i'm getting it i'm getting it okay so during the turn this is sent to your memory and you've so you've you've successfully summoned all three of these each of these have their own climax combo but it makes that level three uh from the uh, level three climax from the trial deck its name counts as each of the trial deck car, each of the uh, the climax names that in the individual level threes require for their combos. So you can play the combos on their own, but if you pull off, the, this is basically like a fucking Exodia combo. And I, I'm, if I remember correctly, the Anya did like some healing shenanigans. Uh, I haven't read the Yor or the Twilight just yet. It's just very interesting that it makes it so, okay, I'm going to play this but this specific climax counts for all three of their climax combos. And you know that it's gonna be a bar, so you know it's gonna be a 1k1. I'm assuming all of them are gonna be 1k1, so it doesn't matter. It's just the fact of you know that you're able to just go green and just go pop, 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 and then play the green and you're good. So very, very interesting. It'll get past the color lock or color requirements is very, very interesting for that. Which I realize the change effects would do that anyway too, so it doesn't matter. So. That, that that feels like there's gonna be some very very fun shenanigans for that look at all the cute art there it's so adorable all right so the your uh that's not that it's this yours the one that gets summoned the first double rare your is when this is placed on stage from your hand reveal the top card of your deck if it's a burlant character or a specific two one red event this gets 2k power making her a 35 when this is placed on stage from hand, you can pay one, put the top card of your deck into your clock. If you do search your deck for up to one level one or lower character, show it to your opponent, add it to hand and shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay, so really good there. So the three to your, and this is gonna be it for the uh, red double rares. When this attacks, if you have the door climax in your climax area and you have two or more other Berlint characters, you can pay one stock. If you do deal four damage to your opponent and this turn, this gets 4k power. It starts off as a 95, it becomes a 13.5. With the door, it becomes a 14.5. At the start of your encore step, if this is rested, you can choose the, the level three green your 
and uh, put it underneath this as a marker and you use your, your change effects kick off. Also, look at the little like rose, uh, like flower effects there. That is like so cool for an SP. That is very, very nice. So, okay, so, so this is, so once again, if like on attack and everything, you, you summon it off of the green event, it, it, it counts off of the gold bar. That's so crazy to have like a, a burn four effect. The Anya did some like digging effect or some shit. Hold on, let me, let me double check. I, I just want to make certain I'm remembering all the effects appropriately. I want to represent them properly. If the choice, look it up to three. Oh yeah, yeah, because this is the look it up to three cards on the top of your opponent's deck and do all the extra healing and stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So back down to the yours. Uh, so that is it for the double rares. I'm going to skim through the reds. Yuri. Oh, we have another brainstorm though. The pay one rest this mill four. For each climax, you get to perform the following effect. To look it up to three, add a card amongst them to hand for the rest of the waiting room. Okay. It's actually kind of an underrated uh, effect. Okay, this is so cool. I'm so sorry I'm gushing over this art so much. This is already like a badass scene. And then for the for the fucking like spy rare art, it goes to the chibi thing that still looks just as menacing, but it's also so fucking cute. Oh my God. So climax combo for this. At the end of this card's attack, if you have the door and the slot across from this is either empty or has a reverse character, which it becomes a 1065, 1075, okay. Look at up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose a Berlin character or the specific event. Uh, from amongst them, add it to your hand. Send the rest to waiting room. Let's look at the event really quick because it's just number 75. We just scroll down a little bit. A little bit uh, 15 pages later. Oh, so it's specifically, uh, this is meant to specifically summon the level three red Yor. Okay, cool. Interesting. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Specifically discarding a climax with a door trigger to summon the level three red your or to summon this level three red your. I saw 64, so I was like, wait a minute, we gotta go down further. Interesting. On attack, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Berlin City character, deal X damage to your opponent. X is equal to that character's level. <laughs> Good luck with your 24 level zeros. Um, okay. When your character's trigger check reveals a climax, you can pay one, put the top card of your deck in the clock, get up to two cards and every day, choose one card. Okay, so rest this, give a thousand. Okay, I love how all of the red borders have like these these vines going on. Hold on. Was there a specific border for the green? Okay, the green had like a variation of different kinds of borders. It looked like. I haven't, I haven't really been paying it. I've been paying attention to the alternate arts and shit, but I didn't realize. Okay. So for all of these, they have like these little, like if they have the borders around like this, they have the little, like, like rose vine looking things. So cool. Uh, it was, it was this one. Okay, cool. Do 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 do. Oh, this can sack itself to summon any Berlin City character whose level is equal to or lower than your level. Interesting. Or it sends it to the it sends this uh, this card to the bottom of your deck. Still, just here summon basically anything. That's actually kind of crazy for an uncommon. Let's see. Gets buffs, gives buffs, gives buffs. Oh, okay. So this is the if you uh, all player on play of this, all players resolve the effect of if you have five or more cards in memory, choose four of them, and send all of the cards to the waiting room. So it de it gets cards out of your opponent's memory and your own. You do have to be mindful of that. Just saying. On play, pay one pitch one to uh, drops. So it's a drop searcher level one with that extra little effect. Very nice there. Or a common, just saying. Do, do, do. Okay, so this Yuri specifically, when you play a 2500, it's a 2500 backup. On When you play it, you can discard a card to bounce back a card with your in its name, your hand. Very interesting. 
Okay, so we have a level two climax combo. We've seen several level two climax combos so far. Very, very nice. When this attacks, if you have the door, you can mill one. If it's a Burnlet City character, choose one character in your waiting room whose level is equal to your level plus one. Place it on stage in any slot. Right? Wait. Did did this just say perform standby? <laughs> okay. This this literally just says perform standby. That's kind of cool. Off of a sal off of a door sl a salvage climax. To be fair, I haven't. I need to look at red and see if they have standby. But I mean, I, you technically do. Just really funny. Two or less. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the event. Okay, so there are no standbys in red, but there is a combo that basically performs it. So interesting there. Uh, so now we're into the blues. We have just two uh, blue double rares, uh, and then we're gonna skim through the rest and try to finish out the rest of this uh, set. So one zero three k Fiona. During your turn, this gains three k power, making her a one zero six k. Uh, when this attacks, if you have the pants trigger in your climax area and you have another Berlant character, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Use up to one Berlant character from amongst them, show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and place the rest back on top in any order. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's not just mill the cards. You get to choose what your next triggers are going to be, which is very interesting for that. I, I do like that. So. And it also has a change to swap out with another Fiona right here. Uh, swap out with this particular level one. Oh, this one actually gets very big during your opponent's turn. It's very interesting. The end of this card's battle opponent's attack. Look up to three cards on the top of your deck, put them back on top in any order. Being able to swap around your own cards on your opponent's turn like that is actually kind of nice. A very nice interaction there. All right, so the Twilight. So this is another thing that can be summoned off the level three green event. It's a three, two, nine, five. When this attacks, if you have the pants trigger in your climax area and you have six or less hand, as many as you're summoning off of the event, I would hope so. You may pay two stock if you do, deal three damage to your opponent. And if that damage is canceled, you may deal one damage to your opponent. It's like, okay, you're not getting away just yet. And once again, it has the change to swap out with the green level three. See, the other thing too is for all of these change effects, it says at the start of your encore step, if this is rested, it does not state that it has to be in the front row. You can do the your standby thing, summon these level threes, and whatnot in the, the green ones or the, the alternate color ones and put them in the backstage and then just swap them out when it becomes appropriate. So I do like that, that bit of interplay and being able to do the bouncing out effects and stuff. Just, it can be very, very interesting. Also Sylvia, I love Sylvia. <laughs> the 0015, let's see. Uh, Anti-runner and gives buff. Okay, the Fiona we looked at. The Lloyd, <laughs> that face is just like, like I'm here to make you a deal. <laughs> All right. Gives another care, another Berlant city character, a thousand power and character encore. Very nice. We have a one zero three K climax combo during your turn. This gains four K and it works off of a pants trigger. So it'll be a one zero eight K. When this attacks, if you have the pants at the end of your, until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gets the Aaron Jaeger effect. When this is front attacked, you may return this to hand. It's just like, <laughs> send me back. I dare you. And the overframe rare looks so fucking badass. It looks so cool. Hell, even the SR for that looks just as awesome. Damn. Uh, memory kick, Twilight. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, the spy failure. <laughs> he almost looks like a different person with the chibi, but you know it's him. It's just so funny. Okay, up to three cards on top of your deck. Choose up to one character with Lloyd, Twilight, or Fiona. Or an event amongst them. Show it to your opponent. Add it to hand. Okay. You get to pitch a card if you trigger a pants, so... 
one zero five k Lloyd. What's, uh, oh yeah, I was like, oh wait, <laughs> uh, yeah, because he he does like all these different like face changes and shit. Also, Frankie, Frankie Franklin. <laughs> oh man, okay, sorry. I mean, look at this. Do, 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 okay. There there are good. There's a lot of crazy good effects in here. This is a level assist that on play you can pitch a card to salvage. When this is placed on hand, on uh, stage from hand, if you have a full field, you can just pick a Berlin City character in your waiting room and send it to your stock, as well as heal one, which is very nice. Pays for half of itself if this is the last one you play. On turn, that it, and it, it's not even that weak offensively. When it attacks, if you have two or more other Berlin City characters, this gains 4k. You got a Sylvia. She looks so awesome. We get some twin drive shenanigans. Interesting. Put it, and it has a discard a climax with pants trigger on play. You get to look it up to five cards on top of your deck. Use up to one Berlint. Add it to your hand. Okay. When your other character with change is placed on stage from hand, specifically from hand, this gets 1500 power for the turn. Which there's oh, like there are several like level ones that do the change and everything too. So that's fair. I mean, Fiona herself had uh, had two, so. There's a climax. Dur, dur, dur. We have a climax swapper, Twilight. Really good there. Got a Fiona. During your turn, if you have another one zero Lloyd, this gains two K power. Oh, okay, okay, so the 88 was the climax combo. No, no, it was this Lloyd. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they were doing the, the mission thing. Got you. 2165. An anti change uh, clock bomb, level 2. Very nice. Start of your main phase. This gains the following ability Act Memory. Send this to memory from waiting room. Then this from memory to waiting room, okay. Oh, okay, so this, uh, during your main phase, it gets the ability to be able to summon the level three, uh, the level three Twilight Lloyd from waiting room to your stage, and that is going to be it for that. All, every single thing in here is pants trigger, no book. <laughs> they don't want you to read. <laughs> We do have a couple promos, but like I said, we're going to save the trial deck for another day. You go, on play. Let's see the character. Okay. I'm just checking through the promos real quick because I've actually done pretty decent on time for this video. I totally thought it was going to take a lot longer, but uh, like I I'm still going to give my overall thoughts, so I it probably is going to add some time. Level zero reversers. A brainstorm promo is very interesting. It's a it's a spammable brainstorm as well. Okay. And that is going to be it. That's going to get into the trial deck after that. So we will save the trial deck for another video. Uh, just because I feel it's probably the smart thing to do. Look at that. Little penguin, like, <laughs> peanuts and everything. Okay, so, so far, I'm I'm very intrigued by this. I'm, I'm going to end it on a, a good... Your right here, just cause. Uh, best girl for a reason. Uh, she is awesome. Yeah. So, so I do love how it's like okay, the the changing effects are the like swapping back and forth between their different personas as well, but it's reflected in like the card color as well. I think that's a very nice bit of flavor. I was not expecting something like that to occur, and because you do have all the different like uh, change effects can possibly go off like once or twice. Uh, depending on the situation that you are in. It, like, it, it seems like you can do some very interesting setup. Uh, it also doesn't rely just on the waiting room. If they do already have the markers, they can still swap without having to worry about, oh, I just refreshed and I don't have a waiting room now. I can't, like, a lot of people, a lot of times with those, the change effects like this, like on the higher level cards, they relied on, I'm thinking like Conti collection stuff from like volume two and shit that did the swap stuff, but it was with cards that were 
like in the waiting room specifically. So if you refreshed, you couldn't do the change effect. Even though, for, even if the change effects were like free, like just for existing, they could just do it for free. But this is like, oh, if you, as long as you have the in the waiting room or you have the marker, you can still do that. Which is kind of crazy because then it keeps the, keeping the markers too is like a, a small bit of compression. It's not like super major, but it can, it, it can, every single bit of every single thing you do in weiss affects rng so even if it's just one or two cards getting markers that is going to affect your rng so that is very fair uh i, I like how it's like oh when they're family they're green cards when they need to go to their alternate persona that they, they swap out to a completely different color it, it's it's really cool i love the flavor i'm loving the artwork it is just so good all around i would love to see spy family get like really popular as like i, I don't know if it's gonna be like a meta set because i i haven't looked at like the all of the i i look at the combos on paper i haven't seen a deck put together for it yet but now i kind of want to so but yeah with that we are going to be signing off in a second here thank you all very much for watching uh once again we're looking at this on weiss tea time go check them out uh, they post up all sorts of translations for cards and, and they're, they're just really awesome. They help me so much with content. It is greatly appreciated whether you mean to or not. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm wasn't initially going to be grabbing spy family. I, I know like Moroku was, but now I'm tempted to pick them up. I'm not intended to pick up some spy family cards now. Okay. We did not see anything unless maybe there's something in the trial deck. We did not see anything that worked off of the the level ones having soul trigger icons. So that was something that just there was no like end goal for that. Like at least with uh uh with Hollow Live, with volume two having like three cards that were costless that had uh that had soul trigger icons, it it led to building your deck a certain way for the Kali combo and the Gura combo that relied off of soul trigger icons. So so there there was synergy there. But there was seen there unless there's something in the trial deck and I, I made certain to look for anything that said soul trigger icon. I didn't see anything that said that. So there was no payoff for that whatsoever, which was a little bit weird. Maybe a future set, because I, I believe we're getting extra seasons of the anime. So yeah, there, there could be future seasons, future uh, boosters that have something to do with that maybe down the line. They're, they're playing the long game. That's what we're going to assume here. So with that, thank y'all very much for watching. We'll be signing off. Uh, y'all have a wonderfully blessed day, and we'll see y'all on the flip side. Peace out for now.